Um, my title of my talk is uh, Global Warming and uh, the Worsening uh, Haze Problem in, in China. And I'd uh, like to uh, introduce our, uh, my co-authors, uh, Ron Liu and uh, Xu, both uh, uh, were and are, is uh, my, my, my uh, student sharing with uh, Professor Chen. Uh, how do I get the next? Uh, um, one of the most robust uh, uh, features of the climate model is the so-called uh, water, water vapor uh, uh, temperature lapse rate uh, feedback. And uh, this feed, feedback uh, tend to, to uh, give you higher water vapor concentration in the upper troposphere compared to lower troposphere, and also higher temperature uh, perturbation in the upper tr troposphere uh, compared to lower troposphere. Um, here, here shows uh, uh, two models. One, one is the NCAR model, one the other is the uh, European model. Uh, the central panel is uh, the temperature uh, pressure height here, and you can see uh, temperature perturbation higher uh, as uh, global warming. Uh, temperature higher in the upper troposphere compared to lower troposphere uh, in both models. Uh, first pan, uh, panel to left panel is uh, the water vapor uh, specific uh, uh, water. Uh, you can see also relatively there's a higher water vapor uh, concentration uh, uh, in the in the upper upper troposphere uh, in terms of perturbation, as you know, uh, the perturbation for one degree global warming is uh, near the surface is about uh, 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 seven percent uh, per per degree, and you can see in the upper troposphere is uh, is actually uh, closer to twenty percent per degree, and uh, with water vapor higher and temperature higher. Uh, what you get is, uh, uh, in the upper troposphere, what you get is a more stable uh, atmosphere. More stable atmosphere, of course, uh, that would lead uh, uh, to, to uh, more uh, concentration of, uh, of uh, air pollutants. Um, here shows uh, the, the uh, similar figures uh, for two reanalysis uh, result. And again, this is a temperature perturbation, and uh, thus uh, uh, water vapor perturbation. You can see temperature. Uh, the reanalysis, uh, of course, that's mostly uh, reflecting the observation. The observation certainly show uh, the higher uh, temperature in the upper troposphere and middle troposphere compared to uh, lower troposphere. Different color is uh, uh, for different uh, uh, latitude uh, zones, uh, and uh, the two reanalysis. Uh, the upper one is uh, CFSR, and uh, uh, the lower one is uh, MIRA. Uh, and um, with uh, with uh, reduced uh, atmospheric uh, lapse rate, we we are going to have uh, increased uh, stability of the atmosphere, and that would uh, trap uh, air pollution near the surface. And also, with reduced lapse rate, uh, that's going to affect uh, light and uh, moderate uh, uh, precipitation. Uh, they rely on instability, and uh, so reduced lapse rate will uh, reduce uh, light and moderate precipitation. And that, of course, uh, uh, decreases uh, the, the washout rate uh, for, for air pollutant. And also uh, more stability, that means uh, you, you are going to have uh, uh, reduced uh, uh, boundary layer wind. And uh, of course, uh, there's uh, other reasons uh, for, uh, for the decrease uh, in the prevailing wind uh, in, in the uh, warming atmosphere. And uh, I won't have time to uh, give the detail there. Um, that's all theory so far. Here shows uh, what we, we deduced uh, for, for eastern China, eastern half of China. And uh, the gray, uh, gray, line, gray pro profile is uh, uh, the 
uh, global temperature anomaly uh, from 1955 to 210. And uh, the green is uh, the dry days, number of days without, uh, without rain. And uh, that, that's, uh, the scale is here. And uh, the red is uh, uh, bottom 10% drizzle, very light precipitation has been decreasing uh, with, uh, with uh, temperature increase. Um, and uh, and uh, the blue is uh, uh, going with uh, the, the uh, light precipitation and moderate precipitation. Uh, the total cloud cover has been uh, decreasing. Total cloud cover decreasing is also very important uh, for, uh, for air pollutant. As you know, the, the clear days uh, uh, during the night, there tend to be um, uh, nighttime uh, inversion, formation of nighttime inversion. So more clear days uh, is going to cause uh, um, uh, more trapping of, uh, of air pollutants. Uh, shown here is uh, the, the uh, again, the, the global temperature anomaly and uh, the uh, decrease in uh, eastern uh, China's uh, uh, average wind uh, annual average wind is a very clear uh, decrease. Um, this figure is a little bit uh, uh, complicated. Uh, showing uh, the bottom, bottom panel is, uh, is a nice work by, by uh, Professor Wu's group uh, in uh, 2010. It shows uh, the number of haze days uh, 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 in China. Um, increasing, as you can see, from about 20 to 30 days per year, all the way to, to more than uh, 60 days per year. But one particular feature is uh, in, in about a short uh, of 10 years or so, there's a factor uh, more than two uh, increase uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the number of haze days. In, in fact, uh, one can see here, uh, in five years, 1975 to 1980, there's a fact of two increase in the number of haze days. Uh, this number of haze days is lined up in year with the, the total energy use. As you can see, the energy use look like that. And um, the emission of pollutant should be highest here, but you see there's hardly any uh, obvious uh, increase uh, in, 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 the, in the haze days, but instead the larger increases around here where it's, uh, uh, the emission is rather moderate here. And uh, consistent with that uh, are the two profiles uh, for uh, visibility measurement. One is uh, uh, for rural stations uh, in eastern China, one is for uh, urban stations, again, you can see the large drop uh, happened uh, around here, around here, and uh, that's inconsistent with, uh, with uh, the, the uh, total, total energy consumption. Uh, in comparison, the, compar uh, the, the change of uh, uh, haze days uh, with, uh, with uh, was, uh, was uh, dry day, uh, the increase in dry days so that's in blue, uh, is, uh, there's a better uh, consistency. And um, the uh, red is, uh, again, global temperature uh, anomaly. Um, we did some closer look uh, with, uh, with uh, the stations that uh, uh, tend to be very, very polluted uh, uh, in uh, in China, uh, especially in the winter, uh, haze days can cause a severe uh, uh, delay in in uh, in in, uh, in traffic uh, uh, transportation and also air, uh, air airport delays. Uh, so this is uh, these stations we look into, and um, here shows uh, some promising. Uh, uh, result and uh, uh, shown here is the visibility for those stations, uh, annual uh, average visibility, and uh, compared to the uh, prevailing uh, wind speed, 
uh, you can see obviously with uh, wind speed, uh, uh, with decreasing wind speed here, uh, the visibility is uh, decreasing. And uh, similarly, we can uh, see the, the, uh, the, the lapse rate uh, between uh, 1,000 uh, millibar and uh, 925 uh, uh, milli millibar, uh, I mean, yeah, millibar height. And uh, uh, when, the, uh, when there's uh, the, 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 uh, the temperature lapse rate uh, uh, decreasing, there's uh, uh, decreasing visibility. Of course, uh, these are just uh, uh, qualitative, for, I mean, semi-quantitative. For, um, uh, we, we are just in the process of estimate, estimating uh, uh, numeric, I, I mean, quantitatively, how much uh, uh, change uh, uh, due to, in fact, we succeeded uh, in, in calculating how much uh, uh, wind speed uh, reduction uh, during these years uh, uh, have caused uh, the increase, uh, uh, the decrease in visibility. Uh, we got uh, a number around the 30 percent uh, decrease. Um, with time running out, uh, here's uh, my conclusions. And uh, surely emission is important, but, uh, but uh, obviously emission is not the whole whole answer for, for the change in visibility and also increase uh, in haze days uh, uh, in China. And um, in fact, uh, we believe uh, and we have shown the, the correlation, uh, at least, uh, that uh, reduced the wind speed, uh, increased uh, atmospheric uh, stability, and also uh, decrease uh, in light and moderate uh, precipitation all as a re result of uh, global warming uh, uh, can contribute uh, to about 50% uh, of the reduction in visibility and uh, increase the haze days in China in the last 50 years or so. And uh, therefore, uh, we, we would like uh, to, to emphasize uh, the point uh, that co-benefit uh, uh, effect uh, uh, control uh, CO2 emission uh, will benefit uh, not only uh, climate uh, 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 change, but also uh, uh, pollutions. Uh, and uh, here I just show uh, for, for, uh, for Eastern China, I think uh, globally uh, that uh, also applies. Thank you. Now, would you have some time for questions? Yeah, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a very, uh, very good question. And uh, in fact, uh, that's one, one of uh, the things we, we are looking for. Uh, one thing we, we are pretty sure, there, there's uh, more continuous clear days. So that's a, that's a good uh, indication for, for uh, more continuous uh, stable days. We're looking in that direction. We haven't got the, the result yet. Thank you. Uh, well, I mean, it looks like, uh, yeah, it look, uh, thank you. Actually, I should have mentioned that. In that period, it turns out uh, the, the, uh, the temperature, the global temperature anomaly uh, are the largest, uh, is the largest in that period. Uh, I mean, it has been talked uh, a lot in the climate uh, uh, community, the uh, late 70s, there's a, a, a rather sharp increase. Uh, I think uh, more than 0 0.2 degrees. Degree, yeah. 